So, this is kind of going to be a weird video, but I want to take a look at Competitive Slowbro, even though it hasn't been revealed yet, because I think there's enough information to get a good idea of what this Pokemon is up to, and it's going to be broken. So, if we go to the Pokemon Sword and Shield Expansion Pass announcement trailer, we can actually get a good shot of what Galarian Slowbro is going to look like. So, the yellow from the Slowpoke becomes purple. This may or may not suggest a poison typing, but a big thing to note is that there is no shelter to be found, unless it's going to be something funny like one's just hanging off its left arm or something, but it seems like it's going to be very similar to the Galarian Slowpoke, which we have information for because it's been released inside the game to kind of tease the expansion pass. We also have a little bit of extra information for those guys who are interested in Galarian Slowpoke. Static Slowpoke encounter is shiny locked, but you can still breed for a shiny once you get your static encounter. So that's something to note. And then we have the data mine of the stats. Hidden ability, not yet available, but we have Regenerator on the Galarian Slowpoke. That is strong, and it's just a pure Psychic typing, and that lowers our weaknesses from 5 down to 3. 5 is scary, 3 is manageable. Imagine if Mega Slowbro wasn't weak to Grass or Electric, that is beyond terrifying. Now I know Megas aren't in Pokemon Sword and Shield, but Slowbro is still a good Pokemon. It sets up, it's tanky, it becomes impossible to kill, and it still has a good amount of damage. Like, it can just go. So, less weaknesses is going to be really nice to have. And then we can even see that Galarian Slowpoke has the same stats as regular Slowpoke. So that means it's likely Galarian Slowbro is going to have these same stats as regular Slowbro, if not maybe a slight buff because Game Freak wants to make the Pokemon more usable. So it just sounds like Slowbro is getting better in every way. But I do want to talk about what happens if Slowbro gets the poison typing because it has some weird interactions and I think it's fairly likely. Game Freak really likes their gimmicks. They really like doing new fancy things with modern Pokemon, and there is not a Psychic Poison dual typing, so this seems like a way that Game Freak can introduce that if they want to. It also makes sense as to why they would remove water from the Slowpoke to kind of open it up for the Slowbro. I don't think it's going to have something to do with Marini. People are like, oh, James turns purple when he gets poisoned and like poison Pokemon. You know, that's why his, uh, like his arms and tail, they, they turn purple or something. I don't think it's going to have some do with like a Pokemon like that. I actually feel like Slowpoke is so stupid, it's going to poison itself on spices. Because that's the lore. The reason why Slowpoke has this yellowness is because it eats a certain kind of spice. So I would find it hilarious that when it evolves, it becomes like permanently food poisoned. But anything is possible. There could still be some weird thing going on with the Slowbro. And like I said, it's likely because Game Freak likes pulling these shenanigans. However, we lose bug weakness and Psychic becomes a neutral hit, so we pick up Ground. I don't like having Ground as a super effective hit, because Earthquake is just so strong, free, and every Pokemon has it, so it does make, like, Poison just not as viable as it could be, but we get a lot of resistances on top of that. So, it works, I think it could still be really strong, and then you're also, like, really strong against Fairy-type Pokemon, which is kind of nutty, so that would be pretty cool, but I would prefer that Slowpoke, or not Slowpoke, Slowbro, stays a pure water typing because we have regenerator poison Pokemon like even if Amoongus gets introduced that's another poison regenerator Pokemon if we have Toxapex and you want to use like a double regenerator core well Toxapex that's a poison Pokemon so I think we start getting too much overlap when you're trying to build it for a team maybe Game Freak's doing that to balance it who even knows at this point but that's something I want to bring up next up we have the moveset so the moveset for Slowpoke is the same as Generation 7, but also we have all these fun new tutors, TR, not tutors, actually tutors will be coming to the Isle of Armor, so potential tutors, TMs, TRs, a lot of it makes sense, we get a couple of new things, a couple of like fancy things that we can utilize as well on the Slowpoke, but for the most part, it seems like it's going to be the same Pokemon. And that's a really good sign for Slowbro, so when we go into Slowbro, Gets a couple of extra things, but for the most part, it's going to be the same. I also like that we can see the egg moves have been toned down quite a lot because some of them have either just been straight removed or moved into other things like Wonder Rooms and TM now. I guess it's not really that usable of a thing. But that's something to note. And then we can go over here and we can see the egg moves Belch, Belly Drum, Block, and Stomp. And now we have Belly Drum on a Gluttony Pokemon. That could get wild. Like, they might pull a Runarigus on us with the Galarian Slowbro. They just swap the special attack and uh, attack stats. And it's like Belly Drum 
question mark question mark win to so become like a psychic or psychic poison snorlax kind of pokemon because you do have a lot of tankiness going on so i think that's an option that we need to keep in mind for what could potentially happen with this pokemon but i'm mostly looking forward to the iron defense iron defense it's a tr Slowpoke, it doesn't get Iron Defense anyways, so it's not like, oh no, Slowpoke doesn't have Iron Defense in Pokemon Sword and Shield, so Slowbro isn't going to get it. Now, it looks like it's still going to have that, so we, we've we got a classic, just really strong set. Let's go check this out. Slack Off. We still have Slack Off. Iron Defense, Calm Mind Skull. So we can run the same filth setup Snorlax. This Pokemon ain't going anywhere in a reduced Dex. Because remember, the Olive Armor comes out before the Frozen Tundra, and the Tundra is when we get the Legendaries. So there's going to be a few months where Slowbro doesn't have to worry about Tapu Koko, where Slowbro doesn't have to worry about Legendary Pokemon, and the Dex is only going to be like 500 or so. And then this can happen. I know what you guys are thinking. Taunt Bait. And you're correct. And unfortunately, Game Freak made the wrong choice, because it's Gluttony, Own Tempo, Regenerator. We lose our Oblivious, and that's what made Slowbro pretty ridiculous. You could either have, like, Regenerator for a more offensive Slowbro, which was possible, or you just have Oblivious on setup, and then you can't cancel out the Slowbro setup. So, maybe Own Tempo becomes Oblivious or something, but I don't think it's going to go that way. Also, it just makes sense. You need that Own Tempo for the theme of this Pokemon, because Slowpoke and Slowbro, they do what they want. They go at their own pace. There's no stopping them. So that, I guess that's just going to be a thing. However, if the opponent isn't bringing Taunt, or if you deal with that Pokemon, now you just have a Filthy Slowbro that's better at setting up as a Slowbro, which is still awesome. And then Regenerator, like I was talking about, Regenerator comboing is going to be nice. That if we keep our pure Psychic typing, we actually have a resistance for Toxapex's weakness, and we're neutral against the ground. So... The only thing we have to worry about is Electric for the Toxpex. And then Slowbro also pairs really nicely as a pure Psychic typing with the Toxpex. So you can go full Defense Tank Slowbro, and then you can have full Special Defense on the Toxpex, and you're going to be in a really good position because you have Regenerator, so you can just, like, run damage and be solid. And then that just brings us to the potential of a full Offensive Slowbro. Now, I'm not saying you Regenerator this with another Pokemon like the Toxpex or something, but this is just for yourself. You come in, you slam into the opponent super hard, you switch out, and then the idea is you come out ahead, even after like taking a switch in hit or something like that, because you're just doing so much damage, and Regenerator is healing it up. And we could look at Choice Specs. So you go Choice Specs into a Psychic, that's going to be a lot of damage for the Slowbro. Um, Life Orb, I don't like the idea that you're taking 10% of your health, and then you're only healing like one third of it back. So you're only reducing 20% of the opponent's damage, but still gives you options to change your moves up and still gives you damage. Also, Dynamaxing Slowbro is going to be very powerful. You set your own Psychic Terrain, you give yourself more damage, you have tons of health, and then things are still pretty crazy. Also, you can hold on to the Slack Off. So if you're not running Choice Item, you can still run Slack Off. There's got to be like some kind of really cheeky item in here for this Pokemon somewhere, but it's like you are playing a weird bruisery special attacking tanky offensive pokemon uh when we look at the move set like i said slowpoke's move set didn't really change too much we will lose stab off of like scald and surf but if we are poison then we pick up sludge bomb which is a pretty solid move so we still have grass knot we have shadow ball we have options that we can run flamethrower because Slowbro gets that, Ice Beam, Garchomp's going to be coming back at some point. So, I mean, we can still actually find, like, either a good four offensive choice specs moveset or three offensive, a little bit of sustain, just kind of, like, pile it in there and make Slowbro a really good hit-and-run Pokemon. And that's pretty much going to be it. Like, I wanted to just kind of show you guys, there's a lot to suggest that Slowbro is still going to be Slowbro, but it's going to be better depending on the typing that it receives and also just the state of the Pokemon Sword and Shield meta. I, like I said, I am upset about the whole Oblivious thing and Taunt being an issue, but if you don't run into that as a problem, then you can completely roll over people with Double Regenerator or just this setup Slowbro that's not going to go anywhere. And that's where it's like, alright, you can own tempo it. A uh, Gluttony on this moveset? could also be interesting that maybe you give yourself a pinch berry on the gluttony or you just keep regenerator that even if you are going for some kind of setup and you don't want to switch out too much there will be times when you're forced out and it's good that if you say you get one or two calm minds you land a scald they bring in a pokemon that just like one shots you or they go for a scary dynamax or something maybe you take a hit on that dynamax slack off you're back to like 
I don't know, 70%, you switch out into a Pokemon that can deal with that Dynamax, and then now you're back at full, and you're ready to just set up again. And that's what I really like about Regenerator, that even though you don't want to switch out, if you're forced to, you're just full health again, and you get another chance at setting up. Another thing to note is that Chansey has been confirmed for the Isle of Armor, so full defense Slowbro with a full special defense Chansey. Chansey doesn't even need Regenerator at that point. You can core really well with these Pokemon, and then maybe three Hyper Offensive and one like Balanced Pokemon, that should help you deal with Taunt. Also, I'm thinking like maybe a Magic Bounce Pokemon. So, Hatterene supporting your Chansey and Slowbro. You bounce back a Taunt. You just rock damage there. Three other hyper offensive Pokemon. That could work. There's going to be a lot of options. I think Slowbro is actually going to be super busted with what we've seen. So, if you guys enjoy the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.